So I get the joy of unboxing them and then I also get the joy of giving the things away. Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am, um, I just recently did a FabFitFun Fall 2018 unboxing um, and in that video I talked about how I was late to the party on subscription boxes and I really wanted to um, indulge and get them but I didn't see a way to justify just uh, getting them for myself for the expense and so what I decided to do was to get them and then um, give away most of the things that I get in the boxes as Christmas presents. So I get the joy of unboxing them and then I also get the joy of giving the things away. Um, so the next box that I just got in the mail, I just got home and it was in my um, box, it's or my uh, mailbox, and this one's called Globe In. Um, I wonder if I opened it upside down. I opened it upside down. So there it is, Globe In. It comes like this, and so I'm going to unpack it upside down, apparently. Um, so the one, this one is really, really neat because um, they go to other countries, and they meet artisans around the world, and they support their work. So um, each uh, thing in the box comes with um, a neat little story, as far as that's concerned. And we support artisans in countries that aren't as fortunate as... Uh, are my own, which is the U.S. Um, so this one is um, each, so they do quarterly boxes, and each quarter they have a handful of different themed boxes that you can choose, and this is the box called Appetize, so it's a kitchen um, box. So the first thing are these um, woven uh, placemats. It's, they're a little small, so they're more like trivets, actually. But it comes with two of them, and these are woven by a um, an artisan in Mexico. Alejandro Lucas learned to weave palm from his mother when he was only 10 years old. He left his hometown of Taco Guerrero and moved to Oaxaca City in order to make a better life for himself and his family. There's more to the story, but the cool thing about it is I can gift this with this little tag and it tells the person all about the artist. So that's very cool. So that's one little gift. I might be able to give that to a coworker. These are some napkins and they are made in India and they are hand stamped. Um, the way they do uh, printing in India, I am fortunate enough to have been there and to have seen it done actually, and they do block prints. So this was, um, they, they take these blocks that are carved and they dip it in the ink or the paint that they use and they put it onto the canvas that they're using. Um, so that is, um, these are some napkins. That's another great little gifty, probably good for a little package for a coworker. Uh, and then here are some napkin rings. These were made in, uh, it doesn't say readily on this card that it came with. Oh, Palesti Palestine, Palestine. These are made in Palestine. And so these would go with the napkins and they snap. So yeah, so little napkin rings made in Palestine. Again, I just think it's so awesome to support uh, their countries in this way. Um, so I'll put that card back with it. Um, here is a, usually these things come with pamphlets and I know that since I opened this upside down it was probably on the top and that wasn't very good planning on my part. Um, ah! <laughs> All this packaging. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Bear with me. Here it is. So it comes with this. This little pamphlet. And um, each, each thing that's included is described in here. So next thing is this spoon. Oh, and it's nice and sturdy and it's, oh, it's lovely. I saw this in the picture and I wasn't sure how it would be, but I believe it's stainless steel. Um, it's a tiny, oh, it's so cute. Okay, and this spoon, there should be a story behind this spoon as well. Swirl olive spoon made in India. 
Um, it's stainless steel, pressed, heated, twisted, and beaten. Um, that sounds like torture. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the spoon was. Um, anyway, so you get this little description for each item that comes in the box. So this is lovely. It actually goes with something else I, I will open next in um, this box. And this I'm thinking of giving to my soon-to-be mother-in-law. I will be doing a video soon on my wedding dress. Uh, somebody, a friend of mine on YouTube asked to see it and I haven't been able to show it yet because it's still with the same stress. Anyway, so my soon-to-be mother-in-law will get this and then she will get this, which is a hand-painted olive boat made in Tunisia, which is in Northern Africa, um, in case you didn't know. And it is really, really well wrapped. I am going to get scissors for this. Uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> um, okay, so it is really, really well wrapped. Let's see. Ugh. Okay, so she really loves to have dinners with people. And she puts out little appetizers and whatnot before the dinner. And this is just so beautiful. I'm checking it for any damage. Any chips made in Tunisia by La Souk Ceramique Stoneware. So I'm going to give this to her. I think that she'll really love this. And I'm going to give her this little serving spoon to go with it. Um, and that's really on point. Earn points with the mother-in-law. Okay, so... We're almost there. One more thing. This is wrapped equally as well. And I believe that this is um, made in India. Let me get to it. And it's a little container. Oh, it's a little smaller than I thought it would be. It's still very cute. And you can put um, your own salad dressing in it or what have you. Um, I can't really imagine using it for anything other than salad dressing. Let's see what the story is behind this one. Um, doo -doo. <laughs> okay, here it is. Glass canister made in India. When Manoj Sharma graduated at the age of 23, he found that he was unable to find work in his field of study. Luckily, he lived in a town where glasswork was prominent and he decided to take up the craft. Today, he is 50 years old and has been working in the industry for over 20 years. He and his wife have two sons and one daughter. So, um, and then it, it, there's a little bit more about him, but yeah, so um, that is that. Let's see if it talks about what you can use it for. Um, suggested use, add some handicraft to your table, filled with dressings, olive oil, or other liquid condiments. Oh, I guess so if you had like soy sauce or something that you needed to put out for people to use. If you have like a big jug of soy sauce and you need to just put a little bit out, this would be really good for that. Anyway, um, it's beautiful. So I have a little, I have two gifts essentially. One, I'm going to give these three things, um, including the spoon, to my mother-in-law. And she can have that. And then I'll probably make a little um, gift bag for a coworker with these things. So that's two gifts for this box was a total of $54. So this one... It, I got more gifts out of the FabFitFun box, um, and FabFitFun also does partner with um, people who represent charities to raise awareness for that charity, but this one provides direct business for people in other countries, so um, I don't know that... I got, I got, it was a good deal. I mean, I would have spent like 30 or 40 bucks on my mother-in-law for Christmas. Um, and the bo box was $54 after all was said and done. And, um, so I kind of, I kind of broke even on this box, uh, with what I would have spent on gifts. So this was a good box, um, mostly because it supports people in other countries doing their art. Anyway, um, yeah, so I have Causebox coming as well. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to break it up and gift it to people. And so stay tuned for that one. Stay tuned for um, weight loss and happiness videos as well. I do kind of more well-rounded, um, just obviously by the name of my channel, Healthiness Journey videos. All right, bye.